Hello Facebook. So I have no idea what time is it is. Eight o'clock on a Tuesday. I have no idea if anybody is going to vlog in live or if you are maybe watching this on catch up. So I will just, let's just give it a sec and make sure I am live. Bear with me a second. I always think this, I think I'm alive, am I not? But I'm going to get started anyway. So um, I wanted to go live. I actually wanted to go live yesterday. So let me hang on one second. It is saying I'm live now. Perfect. I am definitely live. So I wanted to go live on here yesterday. Um, but Boris massively outshone me yesterday. So I thought there was no point in me going live yesterday because everybody was waiting for Boris's announcement. Um, Oh, let me just check. Yeah, perfect. So I'm just double checking that I am live on my normal profile. I think I am. It's not telling me. Hopefully I am. So yeah, so I wanted to go live yesterday on normal Facebook, but Boris's announcement was massively going to outshine that because everybody was sat refreshing the telly, refreshing Facebook and waiting for the announcement. So I thought I won't be outshone by Bojo. I'll wait a day. And the reason I wanted to go live yesterday being the 22nd of Feb is because the 22nd of February is the day I actually got started with my business seven years ago. Now, a few times this week, I've had to actually think back 2014 and I've counted 15, 16, 17, you know, and worked it back seven years because I just think like, where has seven years gone? Like, I, honestly, I feel like I've blinked and seven years has passed, but I started my business seven years ago. Oh, I can see loads of people logging in now. Perfect. Must've just been a bit of a delay. Um, so if you are watching, say, hey, um, and if you're watching on catch up, let me know that you are catching up just so I know. Um, so yeah, so seven years in business yesterday, and I just wanted to share with you and obviously touch on a few points because I don't really go live on normal Facebook, but I go live all the time within other communities on Facebook, team pages, groups, um, different product pages, everything. I go live quite often, but I still get really nervous on my normal Facebook and I don't know why. So when I first got started or when I first took a look at this business, lots of you on here were friends with me before I started my business. So you will know I was working for Village Hotels. I was a personal trainer. I taught lots of classes. I was manager of the gym. I was training to be a GM at the same time, absolutely loved what I did, was super busy, working really, really long hours. For those that are in that industry, you'll know that they're really unsociable hours as well. Um, and when I first looked at this, it was because my friend Lisa was doing it and I just was nosy. I just was intrigued to know what she was doing. I took a look at it and I thought, you know what? I'm not even going to lie, this is me being really honest. Hey, hey, everyone. I thought, if I can get started and there's a way of me, what? buying products cheaper, why wouldn't I? And two, I thought, you know what, if I do earn a little bit of extra money alongside my full-time job, then winner, winner. Who doesn't want to earn a little bit of extra money? So I got started, had no idea what I was doing, knew nothing about the industry, nothing about the business, um, certainly was out of my comfort zone. I had I literally just thought, what have I got to lose? And it was that type of attitude. And those of you that know me know that I'm very much like that. Yeah, you know, I'll, I'll give it a go. What's the worst that can happen? And very quickly, I fell in love with the products. I started to share more products. Lots of people were having lots of great results. I, I started to earn an additional income. Then a lot of my friends started to see that I was earning extra income and it snowballed from there. And then I was helping lots of other people, which I absolutely loved. And very quickly, I earned an income that meant that I could actually leave my job. And I, um, I don't know how to say, it. I didn't start this business to leave my job. I loved my job. I was really happy. But what I thought was, you know, I've earned that income working very, very, very part time around a very demanding full time role. Imagine what I could do you know, if I was to do my business full time. And at the time, the only thing that was the barrier for me, the thing that was making me unhappy was I didn't have time. I craved time. I was always working. I was pretty much married to the job to the point where um, Alex worked abroad because he might as well have because we never saw each other anyway. You know, so I craved that time. So replacing my income, I made the decision and lots of people back then was like, Em, you're mad. What are you doing? You've got this career. You've got, you know, something that you've built up for a very long time. You've been, you've been PT and you've been teaching. And I thought, you know what? No. And I did when I first um, switched on to my business, I left my role as a manager and, you know, the, the position within the hotel, but I was still personal training and doing a little bit alongside my, my forever business. Cause loads of you will know that on here. Um, and since then, I just think, wow, seven years, 
seven years has gone by and I have it is a whirlwind. I've achieved lots of amazing things. And, you know, lots of time people say to me, the last questions about income that I earn or, you know, things that I've achieved materialistically, countries that we've traveled, because I will, I'll never want them ever to be taken away from me. I don't mean in that way, but the, myself and Alex have traveled to some amazing destinations. We've been to places on holiday we would have never have been to, courtesy of the company. Achieved incentives that at the beginning, I thought that what things like that won't happen to people like me. Are you mad? Um, but when I look back now, it, it, that isn't what it makes me happy. It isn't the, you know, the money, the materialistic things, the things that I've achieved. It's time. It's that time that I craved at the very beginning. The thing that made me jump into the business full time and give it my all. Because I now have that freedom, that time, and that is seven years. I, I left my job after, um, March, April, May, June, five months five months so let's call it six and a half years where I've been my own boss I've had that freedom and I've had that time you know and they're the things that I'm super grateful for we're healthy we're happy and if somebody had said to me seven years ago this is where I'd be today I would have laughed in their face I would have just been like you are absolutely crazy if somebody had said to me seven years ago you'll be a mummy and your little girl will be nearly three I would never have believed it you know and I look back at things like that and think that I haven't missed any moments with Skylar you know, the time that this business has given me to become that mummy, not have to worry about putting her into childcare or not having to worry about missing any moments. And Skylar only started nursery in September last year and she only does two days a week and that's for her own development. And that was me being that mum that was like, I was too scared to put her into nursery at one point, but I knew she needed it for a development. So I've not missed any moments. And when people ask me, you know, why is it you do your business or what is it your business has brought to you? I think people expect me to talk about income and holidays and incentives and amazing things which it has given me but that isn't what's important to me and that's this is supposed to you know me just sharing my journey really because it has really made me think seven years wow crikey and lots of you knew me before I started my business lots of you know me from doing my business people in between so I wanted to jump on because I wanted to first of all say you know Thank you to everybody that has supported me. And I can see like my mum keeps logging in, logging out, logging in, logging out. So my mum is one of the biggest people that has supported me. So thank you to everybody that has supported me in my business since starting. You know, and if anybody on my team is watching now or anybody I work alongside, they're like, God, you seem really nervous. And it, it, it is because I feel a little bit emotional. I don't feel nervous now. I feel emotional because I'm going live bearing all on normal Facebook because I'm super passionate at what I do and I really wanted to say some thank yous. So like I say, that first of all, the people that have supported me over the last seven years because being a business owner in any right is not easy. Setting up your own business, lots of, I know lots of people that have gone out there self-employed to do their own businesses, you know, you need that support network. So it is massively appreciated, everybody that supports me. Everybody that has encouraged me over the seven years. I remember when I very first started, there was a lot of people, like I said, you're mad, what are you doing? That's your career, that's where your pension will be, you're nearly at another promotion. You, you know, why would you give all of that up? You know, that encouragement is what kept me going because, you know, there are people that are negative. This industry is a massively misunderstood industry. That's the best way I can describe it. The industry that I'm in is massively misunderstood. And it is for people like myself and other leaders within the industry to spread that awareness. You know, that it is it is for us to share exactly what we do. And that encouragement comes from everybody because when I first started, and like I said, there was lots of people that were just didn't get it. Didn't get it is the best way to say it. There were lots of negative comments. Still is now, seven years later. I'm not saying there isn't, you know, within the industry, within the, my company, within other companies within the industry. And they come from a mix of backgrounds and the, the funny thing is I look back now at people who I first spoken to seven years ago I shared the business opportunity with them I told them what I was doing and it was really negative you know and I could have let that dishearten me I could have let it get to me but I didn't because I had that end goal I knew what I wanted to do with my, my business and where I wanted to go but those people now there's a massive handful of those people that have either come back around and within the last seven years have got started and that isn't because you know that 
they, they flip the, the, they're now positive about it, it'd be the timing just wasn't right for them or they just didn't get it back then. And there's also lots of people that right at the beginning of my journey seven years ago were really negative and have now come into the industry, maybe not with me. I know lots of people that have joined the industry that were negative towards me seven years ago that are, are in with another company, which is fantastic because as an industry, we all work together. So for those of you that have encouraged me, I thank you for that because you're the people that have kept me going. Um, for those that maybe were negative at the beginning and have now seen, you know, either got started or understand a little bit better, keep encouraging other people because, it, it, you know, this industry is massively changing lives. Um, all my, everybody that's ever bought from me, you know, over the last seven years, if you have purchased a product from me and I don't care if it is a £3 product, I've got customers that buy a £3 product and customers that spend hundreds of pounds a month. Again, no business would operate without the bread and butter, which is the product. So I want to say a massive thank you to everybody that has purchased from me in the last seven years. Customers who bought right at the beginning, customers who've been continuous throughout the last seven years, customers who are brand new. Then, of course, I want to say a massive thank you to you. And then people that have believed in me and got started, people that have had that faith in knowing that I am here to help them, help them get started in business, you know, hold the hand, show them the ropes. Because like I said, nobody knows what they're doing when they get started. I knew nothing about the industry, nothing about products, nothing about what I was doing. And I'm one of those people that likes to know everything the day before. And if I don't know something, I'm researching, I'm looking into it. So for me, I know how important that is to hold somebody's hand, bring them in and share. So for you believing in me, knowing that I'll help you get started in business, knowing that I will help you build your business, then thank you to you because I have got the most incredible team. I wouldn't obviously be where I am without my incredible team. So I'm super grateful to each and every person that is in my team. On top of that, though, within our larger team, because we all work um, across, we all work up, down, left, right. We all work together and everybody is super supportive. So I love everybody because I have made the best of friends within this business. And I didn't join forever to make friends, you know, but I've made the best friends and I'm truly, truly grateful for that. So I thought I would go live and share that. Like I say, if you are catching up, let me know you are catching up because I just think you blink and seven years goes past. And there was loads of things going on in my head that I wanted to say, you know, because especially in the last year, business has just gone crazy. And I'm sure you'll have seen that on social media. And I find it hard to talk about how well our industry did and how well the company, our company did and how well my business did last year. Because for some people, last year was the most horrific year ever. But... You know, it's all about business, isn't it? And it's all about peaks and troughs and people have good years, people have bad years. But, you know, to know that within our company, we have consistent growth. And then last year showed that more people than ever were looking at a way of earning an additional income. People were looking at looking after themselves. We're in the health, I'm in the health and wellness sector. So products for people who are looking after themselves. It just shows how much potential is in there. And it is just growing month on month on month. So maybe you might still be thinking like, I still don't know what you're doing like I have no clue let me know comment below let me know and I'd share some info with you if it's not for you that's absolutely fine I would rather people take a look at what I do and tell me it's not for them than just not ask or um you know just not know because it might not be for you it might be for somebody you know it might not be for you now it might be for you next year two years three years lots of people that have got started in the last 12 months are people that I have I've known all my life or I've been speaking to for a long time. Timing is key. So if you want to know more, let me know. If you are thinking, well, you know, what what, what products? Health and wellness? You know, I, I love my skincare. I love my weight management products, my supplements, whatever it may be. Let me know because I can share some info with you on the products. Just don't sit here and be like, still don't know what she does. I'm intrigued, but I'm scared to message her because people do say that. So give me a shout. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to commit to doing alive every week and I have said that now live on Facebook so I watch lots of people consistently do lives every week and I tune in and different people from different businesses different backgrounds sports professionals whoever and I see and I sit and I look forward to their next live and I thought you know what I'm going to do lives because people ask me all the time to do lives on different things so I'm going to put it out there now I've put number one on here and I just thought it'd be a nice way for me to um, calm my nerves a little bit, doing my first, like, do my first official live of the series, shall we say. But like I said, I didn't realise I was going to get so emotional talking about it, so I was a bit jittery in the middle there. Um, and next week, I'm going to go live, and I'm going to interview one of my friends. 
But then if you have got a, a business or if you want me to interview or you want to have a chat on, on here live or you think that you would benefit from us having a catch up and I've just seen my cousin Heather log in and Heather, I want to do a live with you at some point. So I'm going to message you because my cousin Heather has got the most amazing business. Um, it's completely different, um, totally different to me. She has got an amazing business with uh, crystals and I'm not going to try and do it justice because I don't, I'm, I, I really do don't know any of that stuff she'll laugh now she talks about chakras and all of that so if you're into that thing then I really want to like bring my cousin in and speak to her so I'm going to make it a regular thing on a Tuesday night 8 8:30. I'm not really too sure what time works best I'm going to trial and error maybe I might go a little bit later next week and, and see well, who knows but let me know if you would want to jump on live with me 15 minutes whatever it may be we can have a little chat on here spread the awareness share some local businesses whatever it may be a few people have asked me to go live and do some tips on running some people have asked me to talk about uh, nutrition fitness you name it so give me some ideas comment below um and look forward to my lives on a tuesday don't put anything silly though don't be nominating me to talk about anything silly and like i say next tuesday i'm going to be interviewing my amazing friend zoe um and then we will go from there so i've probably gone off on a bit of a tangent like i say that whole emotion like kicked in and i wasn't expecting that and i share my story on my journey so often just not on normal facebook so i'm going to love you all and leave you all thank you for logging in if you are catching up then let me know you've caught up on here um happy tuesday everyone and i feel a little bit better now I feel a little bit better a little bit calmer and i will see you all next tuesday and i look forward to seeing your comments of what you want to hear from me in the coming weeks see you all soon